Hi everyone, Ryan from Hank's Belts. Today I'm going to do a quick video show you how to shorten one of your Hank's Belts. Let's get to it. Okay, so what you're going to need to shorten one of our belts, and we're going to do this from the buckle line. So you got to be a, you know, you got to be a little handy to do this. It's a little tricky. It's not all that difficult, but if you got just a little bit of little handiness to you, you'll be able to do this. So what we're going to need, you're going to need a screwdriver. I like a Sharpie marker. You're going to need a uh, razor knife with a new blade. Put a new blade in it. You want a sharp blade. You're going to need a tape measure. You're going to need a piece of tape. Sometimes, not always. Uh, you can use scotch tape, regular tape. I use duct tape. Why not? We use duct tape for everything. And you're going to need a drill with a 13 64th drill bit. Uh, that's a 13 64th drill bit. Kind of odd, but it's a size that, uh, that works best. So, uh, once you have your tools together, uh, get it all together, and now I am going to show you how to mark the belt so that we can go ahead and uh, shorten it. Okay, so you got your belt, you lost some weight, what have you, but, uh, you know, the end result is that when you put the belt on, it's just, it's just, it's too big. You, uh, you know, we need to shorten this down considerably. So, uh, the first thing that we like to do, what you want to do is just take this, flip it backwards so that it's upside down, throw this around your waist, and then just pull it up to where it feels good, to where it's snug a little bit. And then right where the leather meets the buckle, don't go to the end of the buckle, right, you want right here, right where this leather part meets the buckle, just take your marker, that's where you're going to need your Sharpie, and just go ahead and put a little mark right there. I've already marked this once doing this to see where it's at, so just put a mark there. That's going to help us determine where to... Uh, to shorten the belt too. That's going to give us our, our length. <clears throat> so, just a couple of things here. Uh, we'll get into this real quick. This really works on our solid one piece leather belts uh, without any stitching. If it's a two piece belt, um, you know, it can come, it'll come apart if you cut it. I mean, technically, on our solid one piece stitch belts, you could do this and then attempt to put some super glue or something on the threads where it comes out, but there's a good chance that they will, they will fray out without being stitched back in. Uh, for those, we recommend you try to find a local leather shop or somebody that can shorten this belt for, for you from the end. We don't do belt shortening here at Hanks. Uh, we aren't set up. We don't have the procedures for it. And uh, quite honestly, we are just have our hands full producing belts. Uh, people are ordering them as fast as we can make them. And we just don't have time to offer a belt shortening service at this time. So let me go back in. We're going to head in here. I'm going to throw this on the bench. And uh, I will show you how to shorten this belt up and uh, make your belt that's a little too big. Go ahead and fit you. Thanks. Okay, so now we got our belt on the bench here, and the first thing that we're going to do, remember the mark we made out there. Uh, I have it on the belt here. So we're, this will determine how much we want to cut off from the other end of the belt. Now don't make a mistake and measure from the end of the belt to it, and then shorten it that much because then the belt's ruined. And I will say once these belts are shortened, uh, cut like this, um, it does, does affect the warranty on the belt. It's, if you cut it too short, uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to, to, you know, to help you out with that. So you do want to be careful, make sure your measurements are correct. So what you want to do is you want to go from the hole that you like to, that you wear it in to that, that you like to wear it in to that mark. So I like to wear it in the fourth hole. So I go to the fourth hole and I'm getting about nine and a half inches. So on this particular belt, I'd want to cut off nine and a half inches. I mean, if you wanted to wear it in the first hole, you take it to the first hole, you cut off 13 inches, but then it's only going to fasten when it gets to the first hole. So most people like to be in about the fourth hole, um, you know, fourth or fifth hole. So I'm going to do fourth hole. So we got nine and a half inches. So that's how much we're going to take off of the belt. Okay, so our next step is to remove the screws and uh, take the hardware off the end of the buckle. Now generally, when you put this in here, this will just unscrew and come, come loose for you. Uh, just by pressing your finger on the back, but occasionally they get they snug, and this is where you want the tape. So if the screws just spin on the back side, uh, just get yourself a little piece of a tape. It doesn't have to be duct tape; it can be scotch tape, anything. But just take a small strip of that tape, and then what we do is place it over the screw head like that. Flip it back over, then push your finger on it with the tape, and then it just pops the screws right off. It'll, uh, it'll get them loose every time. Move it off. And it's going to leave a little mark on there. Just rub it and it goes in. So we'll do the second screw. 
a piece of tape on there in case it doesn't want to come loose. Finger behind it and it comes right loose. So, that gets out the screws. Don't lose them. Take your screws and your post and we're going to set them aside. And then remove the buckle and then you're going to remove the keeper. Okay. okay, so the screws are out. So now I'm going to measure uh, to where we're going to cut my belt. So we had nine and a half inches. Let's just double check that. I'm a big one for measure twice, cut once. Uh, and so to the one, two, three, fourth hole from my mark, nine and a half inches. Okay, so bring this down here. And again, measure, don't measure from here. Unfold the, the belt and then measure it because that's going to give you your room to fold it over. So we're going to go down here. We're going to do nine and a half inches. Put a little mark on there. And uh, you don't have to use a straight edge again. It doesn't matter. We're going to, it's going to be kind of, it's not going to be a perfect cut when we get done with it anyways. But for the sake of being a little precise, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. So now we have our mark on there. And we're going to take our good sharp blade and we're just going to cut that. And make sure that you're not cutting on something that you're going to ruin. Okay, so there, so we cut the belt off. Now, here's our template for this. So this is what we're going to use to mark our cuts for our slot that we're going to cut and the holes that we're going to put in. So I like, again, take the marker and you can just mark all of this. Mark the slot, mark here, sometimes the marker won't go down in there. If it doesn't, then you can take our drill and we can make a little bit of a mark on it. So we're going to drill the holes through anyways. Yeah, there we go. So, so there I have my marks, I have my two marks there, oh, and if you want to round off the edge a little bit to keep it. We can do that too. So I'll just round these off just a little bit. I mean again it's not gonna be it's not gonna be a picture perfect job. This is a homemade deal. But we just taper it off a little bit. Round it off and yeah you know, make it look a little bit more like it was when it came. From the factory. I mean, you could even take a uh, little sandpaper if you wanted, and you can go ahead and just kind of round that off a little bit if you want. Okay, so there we have that. Now we're going to need our slot here, so I would cut this next. You need it big enough for that to buckle to go through. So we're just going to go down. I am not a professional by any means at this, but this is just showing you how you can get a belt that's going to, you can extend the life of it a little bit if you, if you lose weight. May have to touch this up a little when we're done. Wow. Okay. Alright, so now we'll want to drill our holes for the screws goes a little easier there we go. all right again if you're a little more finesse than me you can probably make this look better I just like to take the marker then and just color in the edge here Again, not going to show once the belt is fastened, but the Sharpie is pretty good at this. You can also use a little shoe polish if you want. Just kind of darkens it in a little bit there. And then we are going to reassemble the belt. Alright, so now we got our slot and our screw holes. Get everything there lined up. So now we're going to put the belt back together. Put your keeper on first. 
That will go on with the staple facing on the back side. Then we're going to take the buckle. Uh, you want to put the prong towards the front and slide it on like this here. Then the prong will go down through the slot that we cut. Okay. And then we're going to fold it over. Now this is a little tricky here. Our belts are thick so you kind of have to press this down. And what we're going to do, we're going to get the post in for the screw here. Put the post in. Poke through. Line it up there. And then we're going to get the screw in. There we go. So we got that one. Screw that down. Remember your keeper between the two holes. And we're going to put this one in. Put the screw in. And snug that down. Now if you're not going to take your buckle off, you're worried about these coming loose, um, put a little clear nail polish on the threads before you put that together. So there's our finished job. And as you can see, it looks uh, looks pretty good from this side. So now the test is, let's, uh, let's, see, if it, uh, let's see if it fits. <laughs> see if I All right, so there we go. I got the belt shortened. Looks pretty good. Not too bad for... A hacker, but looks perfect from the front, can't even tell. So now the big question is see if it fits. So we'll thread her up here and see how we did. There we go. Fourth hole. Boom. Perfect. Right where I wanted it. So that's it. That's how you shorten your Hanks belt from the buckle end. Uh, again, just take your time with it if you're a little handy. Um, of course, it's always good if you have a local leather shop in your area to head there. They got all the tools to do it a lot easier, a lot quicker for you. Uh, but if you're, like I say, if you're handy, you want to tackle it yourself, it's not that difficult. Um, comes out good and uh, extends the life of your belt by uh, quite a bit. So thanks a lot for uh, taking a look here with me today. I hope this helps out. And uh, again, Brian from Hank's Belts, I'll be talking to you guys again soon. Have a good one.